one who sacrificed his life, dedicating for the nation's future. He was an internationally renowned visionary educationist, humanist with a passion for agriculture. He was born in the foothills of the Temple of the Tooth Relics in Ampitir Kandy on 6th December 1923 and brought up at Mivathura. His name was Stanley Vijayasundara. Professor Stanley is a very human being, very human at heart. He loved me, not only as a lecturer, but as somebody very close to him, like a family member. Occasionally, when I say something rather nasty or something humorous, he would raise his hand and will kind of almost hit me like a father hitting a naughty son. So this, I, had, I had this very rare opportunity of meeting him, not as the vice chancellor, but as a very close, like a member of a family. He had his early education at Dharmaraja College, Trinity and Ananda College. Thereafter, he was awarded degrees in chemistry from the University of Ceylon and the University of London. Subsequently, he was awarded a PhD in biochemistry from the Oxford University. He served the University of Ceylon for many decades. Having started his career as a lecturer, he ascended to the post Professor of Biochemistry after many decades. He was bestowed the honor of being the founding vice chancellor of the University of Colombo, which post he served for the longest tenure of a vice chancellor for over 11 years. The moment some difficulty because Mahapula itself hasn't got the funds, they'll have to find those funds. The other thing with regard to hostels is the Hamid committee proposals were that we should think in terms of building small units. And all the, all the universities, once again, have been working on this plan. Professor Stanley Vijayasundar was the professor of chemistry in the University of Colombo and dean of the Faculty of Science, later appointed as the first vice-chancellor of the University of Colombo in 1979. Professor Stanley Vijayasundar contributed immensely to the development of university in various dimensions. Number one, he was developing the curricula of various subject uh, specializations such as the biochemistry, biotechnology, uh, computer science, management, finance and businesses. Number two, that institution building with respect to uh, computer studies, Institute of Computer Technology later became as the University of Colombo School of Computing was founded by the Professor Stanley Vichesundara. So the foundation for university development was laid by the Professor Stanley Vichesundara. Particularly developing the medical education, he was instrumental to develop North Colombo Medical College at that time was the necessity of the country. There were initially a very uh, old buildings in the university, but today we can see uh, world-class buildings, uh, the instrument of Professor Stanley Vijay Sundar. Beyond going into the Sri Lankan level, he went into the global education area. He was appointed as the chairman of the Commonwealth uh, uh, University Association and he addressed many international uh, forums in uh, various countries, including the UK. Uh, some of his uh, address participated by various academics and even the uh, other uh, people. So we believe that Professor Stanley Vijay Sundara's inception, a contribution to the University of Colombo was a solid foundation to the University of Colombo to come to the today's level. 
During his tenure, the association held its annual conference where over 100 vice chancellors of the Commonwealth Universities attended in Sri Lanka and they were all hosted at Professor Vijayasundara's Fifth Lane residence for dinner. Professor Vijayasundara was married to business tycoon Upali Vijayapardhana's elder sister Anoja. He also served the Kalaniya Rajamahavihara in various posts and took over the post of Chief Basnaga Nilame after Upali Vijayavardhana's death. He is succeeded by his two sons and two daughters, Dr. Rohan Vijayasundara, attorney at law Shalita Vijayasundara, Deepti Tennakon, and leading IT entrepreneur Lakmini Vijayasundara. Professor Vijayasundara was assassinated while helping his successor, Vice Chancellor G.L. Paris, in an office located on the same floor as the Vice Chancellor's office at the Colombo University College House on 8th March 1989. The Institute of Biochemistry, Biology and Molecular Biology and Biotechnology of the University of Colombo has an annual oration in his name. The government had recognized his contribution to education and in 1990 named a newly constructed road adjoining the Colombo University as Professor Stanley Vijayasundra Mavata. His statue is installed at the end of this road. He is another visionary leader whose life was snuffed out, leaving our motherland with an irreplaceable vacuum. Thank you.